Uh, well, Oregon, I didn't have uh, that big of a role. Um, I was more, mostly like a seventh, eighth man. So I didn't really play as much as I've been playing here. So obviously I, I had a different role um, on the team. And obviously the Pac-12 is, you know, most of those players, um, I would say, are mostly skilled players versus the SEC, SEC is a lot more athletes and guys that, you know, bang aside and kind of, kind of do a little bit like block shots, defend. And the Pac-12 is more of like stretch fours and kind of today's kind of game, I should, I'll kind of say. So uh, obviously with the physicality of the SEC, um, right. I'm sure this is, you know, Coach talked about it a little bit, mm -hmm. like your impact as a shot blocker and just the presence inside mm -hmm. to kind of bully around some people is kind of big for this team, especially right. somebody they missed last year. Right. Not mm -hmm. How does that kind of help? Um, like, you know, I, I know my strengths, so you know, I just I kind of play to my strengths. You know, I know I'm a, I see myself as a defensive guy. You know, solely focus, mostly focus on defense. And if I can help out offensively, then I, I will. But my most important um, asset for the team is defense. I know, and I know that's what I got to do to help the team win. So that's what I try to do every night. Have you, uh, in the last couple of days of practice, been uh, tightening up on defense as Arkansas has a good defense? Um, you know, I, I just kind of try to play as hard as I can. You know, whoever we're playing, no matter if it's Arkansas, Tennessee, whoever, you know, Alabama, but I just try to play as hard as I can. And uh, I see, like I said, the defense is my, is my uh, I would say it's my strength at this point. So I kind of, you know, put full effort on defense and kind of um, do the best I can. How have things kind of been different at practice? We asked Derek a little bit about it. Um, how has Coach kind of been now the SEC players? So have you seen a little bit of a difference in him, or is it kind of the same old thing? Uh, kind of the same. You know, he's always intense, you know, regardless of who we're playing. Because, you know, you can't really take anyone for granted. You know, we, we kind of um, lost the game against Oklahoma State, which we shouldn't have lost because um, he wasn't ready and prepared. So. You know, it doesn't matter who we're playing. You know, it's the same preparation and the same intent going up, going forward. What's he kind of talked about with uh, having a road opportunity like this to kind of um, head out there? And just... Um, he, he just stresses that it's going to be a tough environment. You know, obviously it's tough playing on the road, whoever you're playing. It don't matter if it's you know Arkansas, if it's um, like I said, a team out of conference. You know, you always got to bring the intense the intensity because you know you ain't got your fans with you. All you got is you know the tall players and the coaching staffs and whoever travels with us. So you got to um, like you got to bring the intensity whoever you're playing and. To give a full, a full minute effort. Especially when they're now in SEC, I mean, every game is important, no matter who you're right, playing. Right, right. Every, because the way your record set up, you really want to win as many games as possible. Exactly. Now, there's exactly. no more room for, I guess, mistakes. Exactly. Or is that something that if you guys, obviously, coach is kind of the same, but have you guys felt like a lock in at practice a little bit different, or is it, you know, you guys are kind of attacking the same way? Um, I think it's a little more lock in, the guys are fo uh, when a little more focused, knowing that it's SEC play. You know, like you said, there's no room for error, really, you know. Um, and this is a great conference, so anything can happen. There's teams that, you know, you can't take for granted because there's teams that can win games. As you saw on those games um, previously, I think it was yesterday, some teams that shouldn't have lost, lost yesterday. So, um, like I said, you can't take no team for, for granted. you got to give 44, a 40 minute effort, whoever we're playing. Does that Alabama one give you guys some confidence going forward for the rest of the um, Definitely, definitely. Alabama's a great team. Obviously, they beat Kentucky, and Kentucky's a you know, well, well renowned team, and they've got great players in their team, too. So. Being a team like that, that's physical and that's got good, great length, you know, it's definitely a, um, definitely a, um, a confidence booster. Coach said even after last year, if he had you last season, mm -hmm. it's the difference between two or three more wins, and he said it again after the right. last game. I guess even for you going into this year, did he kind of come to you and say, hey, you're, you're going to be the guy, I'm going to maybe be a difference maker, ride you, or uh, how did he kind of set you up to get ready for this year? Um, I mean, I, I didn't, I mean, like he said, he said I could win a, Help us win a couple more games. I think that's just him being generous. But um, I just had to, like I said, I just had to prepare. You know, um, the same way he's sitting out last year kind of helped me being able to like, analyze the conference and see the differences that I got to work on. I always had to get stronger, and that's something that I've been working on. You know, my strength whilst I was sitting out, and then just finish getting uh, my touch better around the rim, and then defense. That's something that I've always been able to pretty do because I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty athletic. So that stuff was just, you know, but I knew I could bank on is the defense inside the game. So. That's just something that I've tried to uh, get better with my block, shot blocking ability and also being able to guard you know, different positions and kind of guard around the rim. So that's something I've been working on and I feel like it's helped the team so far. You guys have had a variety of different starting lineups mm -hmm. and uh, it seems like you might have kind of settled in on one. Would you say that's accurate? And uh, how does this lineup, I guess, help you guys prepare for SEC play versus uh, you guys? Like I said, I, I don't know if it's, this is the lineup that you're going forward with, but uh, you can't really worry about a lineup. You know, when, when your number's cool, you got you to step up and uh, be able to perform. And, uh, and do whatever you can to help the team, and that's kind of what um, 
I wanted to do. You know, if I play 25 minutes, if I play 10 minutes, I got to still play with the same intensity, regardless who I'm playing. So, or regardless how many minutes I'm playing. So, um, I don't know if it's the, the lineup you're going with, but I got to um, bring the same intensity, regardless. Marlon obviously still in the starting lineup. Obviously, was the last but, game. I mean. Having another big athletic person out there on the floor, how does that help defensively for you? Uh, that helps a lot because you know Marlon can guard multiple positions too with his quickness and athleticism. So having someone there on the floor is, you know, definitely helps us a lot. Like he can guard, you know, guards and he can also guard bigger four, four men, which he's been doing. So um, you know, the fact we got someone there on the floor is definitely a help. What's Marlon like in practice? Did we see the pregame dunks we've seen in, in game, what he's able to do, and the kind of athleticism. Is he kind of? Put on a show in practice. Yeah, it's pretty much pretty much the same here. Um, you know, with his athleticism, some plays that he makes, you, it's just like wow, because he's so athletic. So in practice too, he kind of shows up some of that stuff too, and it kind of obviously translates to the game, as y'all can see. Now that you have your first taste of SEC play, how do you think uh, your your game transitions better to the SEC as far, you know, rather than the Pac-12? I mean, um, with the Pac-12, I feel like I could you know play pretty well in that league too, but. Like I said, I didn't really get to play as much, you know, because I had a different role. And we had, you know, we had guys in, that were in front of me at, at, at that school, so I wasn't able to, you know, kind of really show what I could do. But I felt like coming here, sitting out, and getting better, and kind of working on my game, it's helped me, you know, prepare for whatever league I would be in, even if it's the SEC, Pac-12. So I feel like I've gotten better, and that's the main thing: just getting better and being able to help the team now.